Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a Foot Champion Squad Builder. As promised the other day, we have got the Foot Champion Squad Builder. I have qualified for the Foot Champions the other day, and this is the actual team I am going to be using in Foot Champions this weekend. So if you want to see more Foot Champion Squad Builders every Friday, just before the Foot Champions begins, let's smash 60 likes on this video, and we'll get that done every single week. So into my squad, and in the net we have got Diego Alves. For me, the only goalkeeper I ever trust in goal, you know. He's just one of those keepers that, for me, is really good. I find other goalkeepers super inconsistent. And Diego Alves, for me, is the only one that i found that I consistently enjoy. I've given him the glove chemistry style because his handling and positioning does need improving. Although his diving and reflexes are good, you can't get a, a goalkeeper card that just improves handling and positioning. So I gave him uh, the glove there. Moving on to the centre-backs, I have got Jimenez and Laporte again. Two super centre-backs that I've so far used and are phenomenal. I've given uh, Jimenez a passing and physical card. His passing at 51 is pretty low, so I thought, let me improve his passing. His passing is now like 62, I think. And uh, Laporte needs a little bit of a pace upgrade, 65 pace. Um, needs a little bit of upgrading, and his physical needed upgrading. So I gave him an anchor chemistry style to really improve him there and make him even more of a beast. Right back, we've got DeMarcos. DeMarcus is a really good right back, for me the best right back in La Liga this year, so I decided to give him a defending and physical card to improve that defending and physical, his pace in passing and dribbling is high enough for a right back, so let's improve his defending and physical, they're both like over 87, I think his physical now is like 90 and his defending is like 82, so he's an absolute monster. Moving over to the left back position, Trey Molinas, very much the same, he's got a really good well around his card. His pace is good enough, I feel. His shooting, passing, and dribbling is good enough. So I gave him a defending and physical card. His defending is like 88 now, and his physical is like 79 or something like that. So he's got a really good card now. Moving into the midfield, we've got Arda Turan and Andre Gomez. Starting off with Gomez, again, he's got a really good card. His physicality is good enough. His pace, I feel, at 69 is good enough. His shooting is decent. So I thought for a midfielder, his passing at 80 is a little bit low. And because he's quite a strong physical midfielder, I wanted to improve that defending. Um, his defending is now, I think, it's like 83, and his passing is actually 89 now, which is unbelievable. And Arda Turan, very much the same. His pace was good enough. I felt Arda was better going forward, so I decided to improve his shooting and passing as well. His dribbling at 86 was good. I wanted to play Arda as more of an attacking midfielder and let Gomez kind of be a bit more defensive-minded. So I decided to improve his um, attacking stats. Moving into the CDM, we've got Kessin Nero. A really good defensive midfielder, as I say, his pace was a little bit low at 61, so I thought that needed upgrading. And his passing, being the CDM, his passing needs to be better than 71, because um, he's going to be playing a lot of passes to sort of Turan, to the wingers, maybe a few through balls. So I decided to upgrade his passing and dribbling. I think his defending and physical is good enough, considering he's got a medium, medium and six foot height. So I think his card is then good enough there. The right winger, I've got Inaki Williams. I did actually uh, initially have Carlos Vera here. You can see I've got Carlos Vera on the bench. He played six games, got four goals, one assist. He's got a really good card, but I decided to uh, to try out Inaki Williams for this week. I only played one game with him so far. He's got 92 pace, which is fine. Physical at 79 is really high for a right winger. His passing is good enough, but I thought his shooting at 75 and dribbling at 79 was a bit low, so I decided to upgrade that. His dribbling, I think he's like 87 now, and his shooting is 84, so he's a machine. The left winger, we've got Ferreira Carrasco, a guy that I bang on about all the time, but he's a phenomenal player. 88 pace. I decided to upgrade his shooting and physical because they were the only bits of his game that were a little bit weak. He's now got, I think, 83 shooting and 72 physical. So he is now a machine. He's a little mini Ronaldo now, Carrasco. So he's my danger man going into foot champions this week. And then up front, we've got Alex Pato. Could go for Bakambu here, but I like to have a four-star skill striker, as I've explained many times. His shooting at 78 is good, so I decided to improve it to make it great. His dribbling the same at 80 is very good, so I decided to improve that. But he did need that physical improvement, and I decided why not improve his shooting and dribbling as well to make his card super, super good. And that is the team I'm going to be taking into Foot Champions this weekend. So wish me the best of luck this weekend. Let me know if you are playing Foot Champions this weekend, because I may play some of you guys if you are on Xbox One. But make sure you do leave a like on this video if you want to see Foot Champion squad builders. Every single week I'll be building new squads, not just the squads I build. I'll be building all sorts of squads that you can try for Foot Champions if you qualify. Make sure you do smash a like if you want to see that. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. That's all for today guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.